Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shadow Empire, where we are playing as the Highlands on our own little planetoid. So, we have uh, figured out kind of our, our biggest downfalls in this campaign so far. We're, we're re refocusing our research efforts, hopefully going to overcome our technological limitations... Uh, we have unlocked padded and virus suits, and our next major tech that we're going for is automatic rifles, I believe. With that, we should be able to create a new variant of our current troops, uh, our new variant of troops, and then we can upgrade our military to use them. <sighs> we are moving forward with our militia down south to deal with the last vestiges of some traitors. Uh, and then pacify kind of just this unclaimed area of territory. Maybe go down over here and claim this area of territory as well, because there was a water deposit somewhere down here uh, that would be useful. But yeah, that's about it, really. Um, oh, one thing I did want to do is we did just get another, like, treasure trove or whatever it was called. Uh, I think it was in the Nation tab. Was it Nations or Zones? Leaders... Oh, we had something. Uh, uh, where was it? Ancient Depot. Uh, three random artifacts. So we're going to take that. We're going to execute stratagem. We got uh, anti-grav lifter, warrior android, and a gravitronic collector. Okay, so another power. Uh, and clone... Thing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, use them. Okay. Already have it. Already have it. Okay. So we need to build a second city down here so that we can put down that asset in a, in a different zone. That's going to be the idea. Okay. Okay. We can do that, uh, but we'll have to do that next turn, so let's go to it. Uh, we are losing fuel at a prodigious rate because of our uh, ill-timed construction of a power generator running off of fossil fuels. But, oh well. It would be nice to have two cloning uh, facilities that would uh, give us an advantage that we can really we could basically recruit a thousand people a turn into the military for both cities and not have to worry about anything uh, that'd be really great okay they attack us there we took some truck losses but nothing too big killed a hundred of them all right oh discovered a new model motorbike infantry cool that's something we can look into. Uh, wants to change in propaganda. Uh, in our news feed, the land news services are talking too much about our great leaders. My personal experience is that it does not resonate with the populace at all. I humbly request that you allow me to persuade the news service to spend more time on the lot of the common man. It gives us more democracy, more heart. I will allow it. We'll see how this goes. Okay, we have motorbike infantry now, so let's go ahead and uh, allow that. So, yeah, you're armed with a carbine, uh, padded, and virus suit. And go ahead. All right, you're there. Let's keep marching this infantry down south. All right. 3.3 3 to 1. Let's go in. Let's see if they have the resolve to fight us. Alright. Took some losses, but we should be able to hold. Let's also make sure that we've got plenty of spare buggies. Okay. Good, good. 
let's just see here as well missing unit 16 percent of the items required yeah it's gonna be a bit uh, okay anything being built down here does not look like it let's think about this okay you're building up to a level two recycling facility that's good you're level two Are you level two you're level two Hmm. I think that's good. Uh, we can just keep buying up fuel. It's a losing fight in terms of how much we're buying and using up, but oh well. Yes, yes. Okay. It's not too bad, at least. If we did... We could make a new zone here. The only problem is, is that, well, I mean, we do have... Do you have a truck station so logistics would be here already? It wouldn't have much in terms of an industry. We'll have to hold, we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait a couple of turns until we deal with this uh, rebel unit. Then I'll feel comfortable about making this into a second zone where we have two cities. Uh, but yeah, I'm not doing that beforehand. Okay, and just double checking here, 88, 23, that's well far along, good, good. Solar energy would be great. I mean, we're not dealing with, the, like, a lot of energy problems right now, but, eh, eh, like, we do have to deal with the fact that uh, we can't really expand too much uh, off of our current energy, uh, like, production unless we did have solar panels or we get a second uh city I'll just double check and we are doing well with the free folk they're continuing to come to us Let's see can we have an embassy somewhere that's not likely. Hostile with us. Open contact with them. Let's go ahead and try that. See if that works. Failure. Okay. Miners, nothing there. Let's send a spy ring over to you and see what you're up to. Critical success, good, good. Send three spies. I already got you. I already got you. T mm. Send one spy. Okay. And another one. One more time. Come on, roll well. There we go. Two spies will give us at least some territorial knowledge of them. That'll be good. Okay. Yeah, not much else we can really do. We're just going to uh, go to the next turn. Let's see what anybody's got in store for us. I'm hoping those rebels are a bit more quiet this turn. Okay, looks like they were. Uh, commerce didn't go up as much as we promised. Uh, we discover oh new order of battle light armor light armor army, okay. 
That is good, actually. Oh, dear lord. Oh, they big. Oh, they big. Okay, so... Yeah. It's a big evil empire. So I don't know if they're evil, but uh, they don't like us that much. Yeah, they're openly hostile towards us. It's a major regime. So that's a problem. Uh, the hell? Space through here or something? Uh, yeah, and they've got a fairly large high command two bureaucratic offices, biofuels, some fairly big agrodomes, lots of recycling facilities, very big recycling facilities. Okay, we need to upgrade our recyclers. We need to we need to like get that going like more. Given the fact that we can't even. Uh, beat this small rebel force. I'm starting to doubt our abilities. Okay, so decision time. Unusual companion, I write you humbly with a request to take a citizen with me on all my travels and works. It concerns the most uh, enigmatic of all historians I've ever met. Uh, I know civilians are normally not allowed to have access to our secrets of state. I hope you will make an exception for me. Uh... Hmm. No, it's complete. It's complete against. It goes completely against all regulations. Kind of like a. All right. Military research. Let's bump you up a little bit more. Confirm. Trade caravan. Three hundred credits. No. Double checking our 92. We're very close to having solar energy, so that, that'll be good. Okay. Let's look at upgrading some of these uh, recycling facilities to even bigger ones, because uh, apparently we're going to need that uh, in the near future. Uh, okay. Yes. Upgrade you, and how about we also upgrade you, because, uh, yeah... How about all these down here? They have not been upgraded, but I don't want to push it too far. Okay. Got that. You're being built up. We're at 4,500 troops. Let's see. Can we... Can we raise 25% of the items required? Okay. So we still got a little ways to go. Before that goes forward... Dear Lord, that is a big empire. They control a good, a goodly portion of the world. <laughs> About rivaling us in a lot of ways. But they have what looks to be a bigger army, and they probably don't have as big of a problem when it comes to technology. Yeah. Not a lot there. Peace with you. You're a minor regime. You're raiders. So that's uh, the Dunkelkalram. I'm guessing is how you pronounce that. So they're going to be a problem eventually. And we're going to need forces to deal with that eventually. <laughs> Alright, to help we're just going to we're going to make a new zone. Uh, yes, first SHQ. Okay. So this is the Hesteta Sea. It is a city with a thousand people in it. Uh, and they've got a fairly decent controlling area. What we're probably going to do is zone borders there.
Okay, there we go. Drawing out borders here. Okay. Apparently you have to do this one tile at a time. Okay. All right. So now we have this uh, this city. Uh, I should be able to play some stratagem cards and get those uh, get a cloning facility in there. Yes, and a collector in there. Yes. They have no free folk in this area, so it's just going to be natural uh, population increases. Uh, Construction-wise, I want you to have an industry going in here as well. So we'll build up the industry. Okay. So now we'll have two cities in our nation, which will allow us to double up our industry uh, and increase our population by uh, uh, more and more. Ever so, I mean, we've we've got we've got options. We've got more options with this. So that's good. Okay, well, not a lot for us to do this turn other than that. We've just got to keep going. And let's hope that those guys don't get bloodthirsty over here. So, I think we're good for all of our replenishments, yes. Let's go to the next turn. They'll also, as their population goes up, start building up a militia as well, which will help us in kind of that southern wasteland, so we don't have to keep diverting troops down south as far. We should also build up uh, some railroads, uh, railroad uh, lines to go down south. That should be something we should look into doing. That'll probably help us out uh, in connecting everything together. Okay, hit us there. Didn't do much to us, that's good. Uh, security score did not reach what we promised. Some cards, and... How are you doing? Yeah, you don't have the workers to man what you've got already. Which does suck, but you are increasing your workers. So let's also go ahead and... Uh, governor position is vacant, so we're going to have to fix that. Yes, we'll give you a subsidy. The Schmid... It, not sure I pronounce that company. Uh, increase our admin level. I'm okay with that. And appoint a governor. Let's go ahead and recruit a junior. And appoint you. There you go. Uh, I'm going to call you up. And we're going to give you a public budget of 10 credits. Worker salary is good. I like that. I like that. Uh, yeah. That is good. And we won't have you do any uh, recruitment for uh, recruits for right now. Your clones and the stuff will just go straight into your economy. Which should help out a bit. Two hundred free folk. Did you just get those? Yeah, two hundred new free folk. People that just uh, wanted to leave, apparently. Yeah, population decreased with two hundred inhabitants due to them melting away into the hinterlands and joining the free folk. <laughs> yeah, we got a new city here. Yeah? <laughs> We're leaving. 
All right, one turn left for the recycling three to go forward. Same with you. Need to upgrade these recyclers as well to go to recycler twos and just continue to push this higher and higher. New York, we're almost down with all of our... I mean, population went down a little bit, but that's from them going to the new city. Uh, and I think these guys joined 600... No, 700. Okay, and then apparently some more went back to the free folk. That'd be the worker class. Nah, I don't know. Either way, we uh, got a couple of... Uh, we only we got only a little bit longer before all the free folk are gone, hopefully. Uh, and we'll get another city level in 200,000. So we are getting close. Just want to check here. Solar plant with 96. We're close. Once that's done, um, probably go ahead and do the sealed roads uh, if we can. Uh, that would be great because uh, I don't think there's anything else we got. No. So, yeah, sealed roads would be the next one. And then uh, hopefully we discover physical storage or heck, uh, heavy industry would be great as well. Heavy industry would be amazing. Um, yeah. Construction wise. Got anything here we could uh, build up? Uh, political bonus points. BP production per round goes up. Hmm. Could do high command HQ2. That'd be worthwhile. Let's do that. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Next turn. Uh, actually... Okay, yeah, can't do anything there. We just gotta wait for the infantry to get here to help give us more for the fight. So we can destroy them and then uh, take over the rest of this area. Uh, that does have a does have twenty seven thousand free folks. So that'd be great for uh, the uh, be the Histia Sea Histia Sea territory. Oh God, that is a big territory they control. Very big territory they control. Well, hopefully we can do well with our uh, refocusing on technology. If we can take Gallia, that'll that'll help us out. That'll give us three cities we control, three times the industry. We've got a client state that's paying us tribute. So, you know, that'd be good too. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get some more fuel. Buy that up. Don't think there's anything else we really need. Uh, well, you know what? We can go ahead and buy some food just take that we are going to have to build up a, uh, a good industry of domes and stuff to support our burgeoning population uh, in fact we can go ahead since we have the spare energy and we do have plenty of spare water we can go ahead and upgrade you to a dome 3 it's 900 food alright next turn Lots of building going on right now. Okay. We have a very militarized border, I'm realizing, with uh, Gallia. Okay, they hit us, but didn't do a lot. Alright, still got plenty of corruption going in. Tech level ri has risen to level 4. Got some fate, uh, fate pack unlocked. Good, good. Just gave us some credits. Okay, random cards there. Okay, decision. I'll accept that. 
motion that our bureaucratic assets reached level four. I can accept that because we can build up more offices in the second city. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Blackmailing us, huh? 90 credits? Sure. Okay. So are these guys in like a... Just on like a plateau or in like a little crater, it looks like. These guys are just surrounded. That can't be good. Let's see, how are you guys doing? Population's not doing too bad now. Uh, mostly just because you're getting a lot every turn. So, I mean, that's good. Okay. 1.7 to 1. Let's hit him. Try and knock him out. Come on. Damn it. We weren't able to break him. Just checking, so it'll be 2.2 turns for you before you're done. That's mostly because of your worker shortage. Okay, that's not a, that's not bad, actually. And yeah, your free folk numbers are going up. <laughs> You're getting a lot more from other cities, so that's good. And yeah, you lost 10,000. That's from worker increases. And that's because of all of the upgrades and stuff going on. So yeah, you'll be done next turn. You're upgrading, and I think you'll probably be done in a turn. You'll be done in a turn. Yes. Okay. You need to be upgraded to a level two. No more level ones. Everything to level 2, at least. And Reno. Reno needs to be upgraded as well. Okay, with all those being upgraded, that should work, hopefully. Um, hmm. Want all of these militia troops to move in and take that position. Um... Okay, you lost a little bit, but other than that, looks fine. With all these new recruits, let's see. Can we raise up that missing halfway there? Halfway there, and we'll we'll have it. Okay. That's not bad. Well, it's been somewhat interesting. We now know who our enemies are most likely going to be uh, for the rest of the game. Uh, that we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, hmm. But as we we really need to focus on our current enemies, Gallia, and then maybe taking these two minor regimes out, that'll give us a lot. Uh, that'll give us a huge power base from which we can strike at these guys. But we'll see. Uh, hopefully, we can do that. Uh, right now, York is fairly undefended, but it looks like they're very focused on these guys here. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button if you want to support the channel. Hit the subscribe button down below as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!